Hey everybody, welcome to this month's tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hiddeman, the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And uh, this month's video is on adding images to your custom drawing templates. Um, now I'm gonna post a link in uh, the description below about getting to this point. I don't wanna rehash creating a custom title block or something like that. Um, so there's a video on, on adding um, or creating a new title block out of a DWG file that you might already have. And also a separate video on creating the layout that is locating this template on the drawing. Uh, but one question that comes up a lot is how do I get my company logo into that template, especially if it's not part of the same DWG file, if it's not made up of DWG line work. Uh, maybe we have an image file. That's the one that comes up the most. How do I get that into my template? So I thought I'd make a video specifically on that. So here I've already got a template added into my drawing, and as you can see, there is no logo at this point. Um, so I wanna kind of take you through the steps because most people kind of figure out the first step, but they don't figure out the second step. Um, so in the template editor here where you can make changes to your template, most people will go up to the insert option and they'll choose picture and they'll sort of notice the fact that we've got existing folder structures here that Tecla is looking at for their images. So they'll take their custom image and they'll, they'll navigate to those folders and they'll place it in that folder so that they can use it in the template. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but I don't like doing that because this is specific to my 2021 version. So what happens is next year, if I go and upgrade to a newer version of Tecla Structures, or if I have an older version of Tecla that I'm using, it's not looking at these folders. It can't see those folders and the images in them. So what happens is I have to go and reset all that stuff up every single time I'm installing a new version, which is obviously not very user friendly. So what I'm gonna show you here is how we can go to our options and we can point to a new folder. We can point to a folder where we wanna keep our stuff either in a firm folder or a subfolder of it. Um, so I'm gonna to go to the preferences option go to file locations, and here you can see there's all these different um, file locations that are being specified, and one of them is this symbols and pictures line. So what we can do here, uh, let me go ahead and open up the folder where I've got my image, so there's my, uh, my awesome company logo, and I just have it in a subfolder of my firm folder, so I'm going to go ahead and take that folder path, copy it, and I'm going to go ahead, put a semicolon, and paste that in to the end of this line item for symbols and pictures. So I'll go ahead and click OK, and then go back up to Insert Picture, and here now we have my new location listed in the directory or the available directories. So now I can grab that image and say OK, and we can go ahead and place that image here, and you can see now I've got the image showing up in my template. So you might think, awesome, hence the logo. Um, I have this now in my template, so let me go ahead and save this, and they'll go back to Tecla and they'll refresh their template, but the image doesn't show up. So at that point, they kind of get stuck. They don't know why it's not showing up here, and they may go back to the template editor, and they may fiddle around with this some more and try a couple of options, but what they're missing is that the, the image location needs to be set for the template editor so that the template editor can see the image, but it also needs to be set so that Tecla Structures, which is a separate software, can also see it, can also reference that file, okay? So that's actually done through a, um, an advanced option called DXK Symbol Path. Now, if I were to go to my, let me go ahead and open up my directory browser here. So if I were to go to my environments folder here and we look at um, my USA and then we look at the, the US environment here, um, we can see that there is a DXK symbol path, again, just like the template editor that's already set. So it's got a lot of this you know, extra stuff in here. Now, again, I could just put a semicolon and paste it, uh, paste my new path, but Kind of like I said a moment ago, that's going to fix it for 2021, but it's not then going to be available, at least easily available, in other versions. So here is what I like to do. What I like to do is to go to my user settings, and here I will actually add a new line. I'll say set DXK symbol path, 
equals, and I could just simply go through and, and kind of copy paste the existing line. But here's a little trick. You can put in, or, uh, in percent symbols, you can put DXK symbol path. So this is, is essentially saying to Tecla, use the current existing path, but then I can add a semicolon and paste my custom path after it. So that way I'm not having to copy paste the existing path. I'm not having to be concerned if a um, if there's a an update like a service release that changes that path a little bit, and then and then my path no longer follows the the path that it needs to follow, or or you know it's, I'm not catching those changes by putting it in my user file and saying percent dxk symbol path. I'm saying use whatever has already been set up. Just add my folder. And also the user settings are one of the options that when you do install a new version of Tecla, it asks you, do you want to copy your user settings forward? Just like a firm folder path or something like that. Um, so this is more uh, future proof or at least future resistant <laughs> than other methods. All right. So now that I've got, a, got that in here, let me go ahead and close and save that. Now in order for these changes to take effect, I do have to restart Tecla. So let me go ahead and do that quick. All right, so we're back in the model and, and through the magic of editing, you didn't have to sit through the rebooting of my Tecla structures. So I'll go back to my document manager here and let's grab that same beam that I had open. And when I reopen the drawing here, now you can see that the logo is indeed showing up in Tecla. So that's really it all, all it is. That's the, kind of the, the main thing that I see people miss. A lot of people catch it on the template editor side, realizing they need to either change the path or put it in one of the system folders, um, but they always miss the, the DXK symbol path. So a uh, quick little tip, I hope that helps. Um, it, it comes up a lot, especially with new users trying to set up their, their templates for the first time. So I hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those uh, below. And uh, once again, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.